guys and welcome back to Eurospec Garage. My name is Alex and we are back on the 4Motion Jetta TDI DSG Mark VI project. So as you guys can see we have the Jetta up in here. And so one of the next challenges that we have to do, this would be kind of stage two of this project, is we're actually going to be dropping the transmission out of the car. And the reason for that is we need to take apart the transmission and put in an all-wheel drive uh, front differential into the car so that it can accept the transfer case. So that is the logical next step, and I'm kind of scared, uh, not going to lie. Uh, I've taken apart trans uh, one transmission just out of curiosity, but never with the thought that I'm going to have to put it back together and have it working. So that's exactly what this project is going to be. And right now, the first step is obviously the car is uh, here all together in one piece. Right now we're going to jack it up as high as we can, put it up on jack stands, start taking off under, under body panels and things like that, and start getting the process of removing the front subframe. Once we do that, um, then I think, I guess the next step would be to drain the transmission fluid. That would be much easier to do now rather than when the transmission is on the ground. Um, and then focus on uh, taking out the transmission. And so yeah, that's what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna be attacking this car. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, let's get to it. guys well so far what we've done is as you guys have seen we've taken off uh, taken out the battery and some of the other supporting stuff just to free up some space so I could see what I'm doing and then I moved on to remove the wheels <clears throat> and then I took out the axle bolts on the outside just so that it, it's gonna be easier to remove the axles and then I dropped the uh, belly pan, <clears throat> the plastic belly pan. And so now, hey guys, now that we've got the transmission not free, but you know, we took a lot of the outside stuff out of it. Uh, now I think the next step is to pull the axles. So we're going to be pulling the axles. Of course, they require uh, these triple squares just like most other Volkswagen and Audis. So I think we'll do that next, and then maybe after that we can drain the transmission fluid, and then start taking things apart. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. I'll uh, show you guys what I'm talking about. Hey 
Hey guys, so we have the axles removed. You can see it right there. There's one axle removed and axle number two removed. Uh, for the driver's side axle, I actually had to undo the bottom control arm bolts to be able to move the whole spindle out of the way. I'd recommend doing that for the other side as well. I was having some trouble pulling the drive sh uh, the drive shaft out. Um, so I think going back in with it, I'm definitely going to loosen up the lower control arms. And as you can see, we got quite a bit of space. Okay guys, so I took a look at the factory procedure and the way the mechatronic connector works is you gotta twist it counterclockwise and it should release. So let me see if I can do this while holding the camera. Oh, something just happened. And I'm gonna wiggle it out of the way hopefully. There it is. Perfect, yeah, so you just twist that counterclockwise to lock it, turn it clockwise, so. We have, I think everything from this side of the transmission out. And the next piece is the selector right there. Uh, the cable, the transmission shifter cable. And the way to do that is there is a lock washer right here and this one I know it's difficult to see but basically you pull it up I don't know if I can do it with my fingers probably a screwdriver would be better and then this retaining bracket it's held by two bolts behind here so I'm gonna remove the two bolts and then pull this um, washer retaining washer and ideally the cable should slide up and out of the way so I'm gonna go do that right now back again and I was actually able to remove the uh, selector cable shifter gear selector thing and this is the little washer that holds it in place very simple very easy to, to pop out I just bent this little tab popped out not a problem and then there's a couple uh, triple squares that are that hold that bracket right there. So that is now free from the transmission. Uh, much easier than I thought. Very glad about that. So now the next thing is actually to remove the starter. And the reason is because one of the bolts holding the transmission to the engine lives behind the starter. So that's what I'm going to do next. And then after that, I think it's time to support the engine. So let me do that real quick and then I'll show you guys my setup. All right, guys. Well, here's my setup. Um, found a couple anchoring points, uh, one over there, one right here. Uh, for this one, I actually had to uh, move this little holder out of the way just so I don't crush it um, Same thing over here. There's one right back there and this one here and I have it wound up It's pretty pretty tight uh, It's holding it um, So I feel pretty secure about it <laughs> So we actually had to machine this, I'm going to call it a bell housing. We had to machine this part here. The front wheel drive bell housings 
this piece actually points up a little bit and it's not possible then to put on the transfer case. There's a seal that lives in here that we're going to reinstall and also I had these bolts tapped. These two bolts were already pre-drilled. I found the correct thread, I found the right bolts and had the machine shop basically flatten this out. And what this is gonna allow us to do is put on the transfer case and mount it perfectly metal to metal here the way it was designed. Otherwise, this is the inside of the transmission. I have no idea what each of these gear gears are called, but there is a filter here with some magnets that should pick up any debris. I cleaned this as best as I could You'll see a little bit of residue here and there. I might clean that up just a little bit. And this is the transfer case. You can see the mounting surfaces are here. There's four bolts. And this is gonna go directly into the transmission. This is the all wheel drive differential. You can see the splines here on the bottom some ARP bolts all around, and this is the original gear ring. Moving on, these are the output shaft seals, and I found some mason jars that I'm gonna use to lightly tap them in. Hopefully this works well, both for the inside and outside. We shall see. And also, we got some replacement parts. We're not going to be using all of this. We got this from Transstar. <clears throat> they sent over all of the required seals and rings, so I highly recommend them. I think it's finally time to put this transmission back together. So, so far, we've taken apart the transmission in order to take out the differential because it's for a front wheel drive car. We've since got an all-wheel drive differential and swapped over the gear ring from this transmission onto the all-wheel drive differential so that we could put it back in the transmission before we seal it up. So the first step in putting together this transmission is to install the all-wheel drive differential and then after that we're going to seal the entire casing with silicone just like the factory did it and then put the two halves together, put the bolts in, add a couple more things, install the mechatronic unit back into the transmission, and basically have it ready for fluid and to get put back in. In this video, we might also even install the transfer case. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's turn on the music, put on the time lapse, and I hope you guys like it.
So we did it. We finally put together the transmission. It was sketchy. Um, I was pretty scared doing it the first time I've ever taken apart a transmission, but as you guys have seen, completely tore it apart, took every single one of the gears out, put it back in. Yeah, I'm nervous. I don't know. I mean, I put everything back together as best as I could. Hoping that this transmission here will do just fine. So as you guys can see, we have the all-wheel drive differential in. We have an Audi A3 transfer case on. New seals everywhere. New filter. Torqued everything down to the best of my ability. Glued the two sides together with some silicone. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So now it's put together. There's no fluid inside just yet. And the next step is to actually put it back in the car. But that is the plan. So yeah, would hate to put this transmission in and have it fail. But if it does fail, it's okay because now I have an understanding of how to take these things apart and I feel like I can do a pretty decent job at it. But hoping, hoping that that's not the case, hopefully have an all-wheel drive car ready. So we'll see.